Today we're going to be taking a look at the NH-L9 by 65 SE-AM4 low profile cooler. Now to be honest I don't need a low profile cooler for the AM4 series but I bought one because I was waiting for a bracket and one didn't release and I just wanted to make sure I had one and then when I went to Amazon the other two special editions from Noctua had sold out. But this will be cool to have for some point in the future when I decide to do maybe a small form factor AM4 build or as we might call it now Ryzen build. Now this is a special edition for AM4 and I don't think it actually includes the mounting system for anything but AM4 but we'll have to see. As always it has the award winning cooler mark on the front and it tells you that it is a 65 millimeter low profile fan with 100% RAM compatibility supposedly. You know that can vary sometimes but it does say that so maybe that's true. I don't know. I don't have every stick of RAM ever made and every motherboard combination to go with it. 100% compatibility with PCIe cards on ITX, easy access to near socket connectors, and it has a NF a9X 14 PWM premium fan and of course the SecuFirm 2 mounting system for AM4. On the back we don't really have that much there. And on the side we have some more rating. The max rotational speed period is going to be 25 RPM. But if you want to use the included low noise adapter you're going to be at 1800 RPM. And it doesn't have the ultra low noise adapter like some of the Noctua coolers do come with. There's the rest of the stats if you guys want to take a look. And the max acoustical noise is claimed to be 23.6. DBA and with the LNA or the low noise adapter we're looking at 14.8 decibels so that's pretty low considering it's always going to be your graphics card that's going to be end up being the loudest thing it appears these days but let's go ahead and take a look on the top of the box we do have the hardware kit it's the SecuFirm 2 mounting system AM4 it says right here so we do not have any other cool mounting stuff. Let's see what we got though. Um, in here we did get some of the common parts. We have an actual badge. Let's see here. Ah. Oh, that opens pretty easy. That's nice. Let's get that out. So we have an adapter in case you guys need a fan adapter or extension. We have the Noctua badge here. If you guys are into badging your equipment, I'm not really. And then the thermal paste that comes with it is the NT-H1, which for this I probably will use. I will probably save my G-Lid for when I get a bracket for a liquid cooler or something like that. It does come with the handy dandy extra long tool. Mmm. Look at that extra long tool. It's so long it doesn't even fit in frame. Look at that. Actually, if you go out this way though, it's longer than my hand. You know they, what they say about how long your hand is, is how long something else is. So this is longer than that. <laughs> Alrighty, it looks like we have some of the screws and some sort of spacers. I'm not sure because I don't have any sort of AM4 MOBO yet, but let's take a look. It does look like the spacers go underneath the bracket, so that's how that's going to be being installed there. And yeah, so there's a couple of the orientation options, of course, depending on what you're doing. One looks like it's for AMB4 and the other is for AMB5 which I'm not sure what the difference is necessarily yet. Let me know in the comment section below. Or I'll tell you what it is once I find out, because I'm sure I will at some point. Looks like the AMD set just came all apart and there's nothing in the bag and it just all fell into the box. For shame, for shame. So here's the necessary brackets that we have. 
that we will need to use at some point. There's, uh, there's four of them total. Two matching. So yeah. Well, there we go. Let's go ahead and get into the meat and potatoes. Ooh, you see the fan there now. Getting into the nitty gritty. Of course, this is a 65 millimeter fan. At least that's what I feel like it's advertised. Or is it a 65 millimeter cooler? Or is the fan the same size as the cooler? Let's find out. If I can figure out how to open this increasingly difficult package. There we go. And there she blows. So it is a pretty much, yeah, 65 millimeter fan on top of a slightly smaller heat sink. It does have the protection on the heat spreader there. That does look nice and smooth. It doesn't look like you're going to need to worry about lapping that or any sort of thing at all. Of course it is Noxua. they pretty good about that. I'm interested. This is a super tiny cooler. This is one of the tiniest I've seen. So this would be really good for any sort of ITX or AT micro ATX build, it looks like. You do have what is essentially two copper heat pipes. Well, what is essentially four copper heat pipes. You can tell this because see, here's the ending of the two coming from the other side. So total of four. Yeah. Yeah, total of four. It's not like they loop around there. Duh. There's the Noxua logo. That's nice. I don't know what the low noise adapter is. All right, fellas. So actually this, what I thought was the fan extension is actually the low noise adapter. I wanted to clarify that with you guys here. You can see it um, on here. Low noise adapter right there. NARC7. And so if you plug this in, essentially it's going to uh, limit the fan speed which means I'm assuming limit the voltage, etc. So I'll have to try with this and without this. I don't know. I feel like you could just limit it yourself. I don't know if this does anything else necessarily. So I feel like you could just do that from within your PC settings or your BIOS settings. But this is an easy way to do it. Maybe if you don't have that option, this is a good way. Who knows? There you go, guys. That is going to be the Noctua NHL9 by 65 SE for AM4. So the special edition AM4. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down there. And I'll see you next Tuesday.